You think you know Star Wars Rebels? Well, here's 10 things you may not have known about the crew of the Ghost. Star Wars Rebels takes place between Episodes 3 and 4 of the original six films. This gives us our first look at the rise of the Rebellion against the Empire and the extinction of the Jedi Knights. The series has a Star Wars Universe fact checker. Pablo Hidalgo is a member of Lucasfilm's Story Group, a team responsible for maintaining the continuity of the Star Wars Universe. He provided a timeline for the series, placing it 14 years after Revenge of the Sith and about 5 years before New Hope. That's 5 BBY for you lore nerds out there. The series was created by Dave Filoni, Simon Kinberg, and Carrie Beck. Beck created the concept for the show, likening it to a Star Wars version of the A-Team, a group of misfits gathered together to right the wrongs committed by the Empire. If you have enough credits, maybe you too can hire the crew of the Ghost. The visual style of the show is inspired by concept art that Ralph McQuarrie created for the original Star Wars trilogy. For example, Zeb is based off McQuarrie's original design for Chewbacca, and Chopper is based off his R2-D2 artwork. To speed up the process of animating the show, Lucasfilm developed a tool for Adobe Photoshop to help artists recreate Ralph McQuarrie's artistic style. While the artistic style is heavily influenced by McQuarrie, it's not the only source of inspiration. The show is also heavily influenced by the films of Hayao Miyazaki. The original three films are a major influence on Rebels production, so much so that many of the original trilogy's sound effects have been recycled. The animation team even took steps to recreate the look and sound of the original lightsaber. The show premiered as a 44-minute film, Star Wars Rebels Spark of Rebellion, prior to the full series premiere. As part of a promotional effort, six Imperial propaganda posters were sent to an exclusive list of 2,500 people around the world, and when the six poster backs were combined together, an image of the Rebel Phoenix logo was formed, which is pretty sneaky on the part of the Rebels using Imperial print job to spread their own propaganda. I bet that printer lost the Imperial account real fast. Sam Witwer, the actor who voices Emperor Palpatine, apparently has no problems offering his services to the Empire. In addition to the Emperor, he has also voiced Darth Maul in The Clone Wars and Galen Merrick, aka Starkiller, in both Star Wars The Force Unleashed games. Many of the original Star Wars actors reprised their roles for Rebels, including James Earl Jones, Anthony Daniels, Frank Oz, and Billy D. Williams. And here's a bonus one. On October 2nd, 2014, the day before the series premiered, Disney announced that they had renewed the show for a second season. That's it for this episode of You Think You Know TV. Make sure you subscribe, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and get the latest movie and TV news on ScreenCrush.com.